I'm Pat Kahn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that I haven't shown much of what I've done here, and some of this is recent. Uh, this is not quite the final design, but for, uh, for Grey Garden, I've been working on starting to turn it into an interesting settlement. I'm not sure if I'll ever put humans here, because it's kind of nice... You're going to have a whole bunch of robots here anyhow, unless you get rid of them. And any robot you do is locked at 50% happiness. But I still want to make uh, interesting structures, and I would like it to be well defended. So, you'll see here, I've started with the, the basic little bit of concrete that you have here. And I've very, very carefully lined it up. I've extended it, and then I've built stuff up to cover some of the trees that are not removable here. They're still down here, there's not a lot you can do about them, but I at least wanted to hide them. And because I don't really use mods, there isn't really a way for me to get rid of them. I would probably like to hide this car too, in the longer term. But, so I've, I've strung out some lasers pointing down there. And also have a laser turret here. The reason I'm doing lasers instead of rockets, I do like rockets, but the problem with rockets is they cause a lot of collateral damage to uh, whenever they hit and they'll destroy your settlement objects. And I don't really want to deal with that. So so yeah, we're, we're using the, the nicer version of the lasers. Now one other thing, while I was building some of this stuff up, let me show you a little bit more of, of what I've done here. I've built an elevator. I've also built a, uh, a robot workbench here so that I can have like a dedicated defender. But uh, I built an elevator to take me up here, but it wasn't quite tall enough. So then I built another elevator and hooked it in. You can see that like elevators have that nice side snappy electric wire there. So on the second floor of this elevator, it takes you to the lower level of the freeway. And the needed glue and all that stuff together. I've built some gates here to note where the end of the buildable area is. But then if you come over here and head up one more floor. Then you get the upper level. Up here I've built myself a little player home. Not particularly luxurious. But it has a bathroom, sink, toilet, and a bed. Which is kind of nice when my character comes to visit. Also built myself a cute little ladder here. I left this couch where it is. I might have repositioned it slightly, but by and large, it, it's left the same. So, one thing I checked when I was setting all this stuff up, I'm beyond the buildable area here, I was wondering, is all this area truly mine? In the sense that, is it possible for somebody to get over to this area without going, uh, without climbing the stairs that I just made, or hopping up the difficult to hop up stairwell over there? It's also, you can see a vertebrate over here, which is pretty sweet. And there's an abandoned bit of power armor. Not really sure why, but it's there. And unfortunately, over here there is an elevator. You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. And Hard this goes all the way down to the ground, sometimes. so you, you don't actually have complete privacy. Although, to cross over from this bit of the highway to that bit, somebody would have to make a difficult jump. So it's better than nothing, but it's not quite ideal. Anyhow. Somewhere. Like there's somebody over there. I'm wondering who that is. Let's go find out before we go do quest things. Can't quite tag him yet. Yep. 
So that's what was going on over here. This is not ordinarily a place to go. Hi there, Mr. Settler. What are you doing here? In case you offer to let me relocate you, let's figure out a place. Maybe you could go to... Transport Life Pass. Hey there. Don't care much for good neighbor. Bad place is nothing but trouble. Lost track of how many blisters nope. I got. Apparently he... He's not going to be relocated, which is fine. Yes. I just want to see if he wants. I'm just going to come in and loot your stuff and head back out. Not really sure why he would choose to continue living here, but whatever. Oh, a lot of stuff here. Okay. So we've reached Max Definity uh, with, um, with Nick Valentine. And, uh, and so we're ready to switch companions, but I have a particular companion in mind, and I would like to start a particular quest series up here. We're gonna, go reading. Detected. we're gonna go to Far Harbor. Hello. Uh, where is it? Oh. I think we have some synths to deal with here. You must be where we're going. So when you install this DLC, it adds uh, some areas to, uh, to your map that otherwise wouldn't be there. So it apparently wants you to start here and then right now. I think ordinarily we would have put the world boundary by now if, if the DLC weren't installed. And I think a few Let's Plays ago, we spotted that lonely ghoul standing out there in the middle of the ocean on a platform. But we can leave it alone. See if we can actually hop up this cliff base. Yeah, Fallout isn't quite as, as hop friendly as Skyrim. But it's not bad. I remember with Skyrim, oftentimes there were places where you could hop up an incredibly steep mountain just by continually jumping and sliding back and forth. It was a little bit ridiculous, but it worked and it was kind of fun. And I suppose it simulated that if you're a really dedicated mountain climber, you don't have to go by the paths that other people do, although it would take you a really long time sometimes to do that. And here we are, a lonely house out in the middle of nowhere. Connected to Boston. High road. This would be the road. I, I think it would hook you onto the highways and so on. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. I, uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? 
Good. The more eyes, the better. Yep, that's me. Lowly partner. I don't even get real business cards. Uh, right. <laughs> Getting back to my daughter. Our daughter, Kasumi... Until she made contact with... Or maybe she left on her own. Our daughter is 19. She knows oh, how to survive, and she's capable. Better I... Sure. No. She would have told us... Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. my daughter is... Right? We'll find her. Thank you. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. So Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Tell me about this. I remember Kasumi. Uh -huh. We're pretty isolated. Uh -huh. I'd like to know more. My daughter is... But why would... Every detail. It's just that... Mm -hmm. He was the only one. She started staying. Uh -huh. You and your husband. <sighs> but Kenji still. Maybe because it's more. F Every detail. It's just that he was the only. Mm -hmm. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse. Nothing else right now. Okay. So she built a radio. And she apparently made contact with somebody. And then she took off. Or at least that's the running theory. Apparently it was connected to a radio that she was building out uh, in uh, the shack where maybe her grandfather lived, or at least where he tinkered. Hmm. Well, there's the stuff up here. It seemed a little bit like we could be digging through this, well. but... Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my job that I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Okay, so there's our answer. Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi She went that far up north? Mm -hmm. There's no time to wait. Wait, did you find out? What does it matter? Because sir? I know my daughter. You're right, Detective. Your daughter made contact. What? That's She's not a synth. She's our daughter. It doesn't matter if your daughter is but a... my daughter isn't. This is what I was afraid of. You have to get to Far Harbor. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh... While I know the seas aren't exactly... I know you haven't asked for payment. I know my partner here can be a little glib. 
But we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two. Okay, so there's our answer. We have use of the boat. And uh, Nick, why are you? Apparently he wants dinner or something. Okay, so we're ready to head off to Far Harbor. And we have some materials here. Let's grab some stuff. scene and This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your... Uh, sorry. You... Uh, but Alan's got a point. A young woman from the Commonwealth named some sort of detective. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull! Don't fall off! Okay, so we do. I might not be able to rescue you in time. The defense here. Kind of a tricky fight. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. Well, I peeled everyone. Okay, and there come some running settlers. The gate. Some survivors. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers. Oh God! Okay. There is one of these things. But yeah, these they're fairly dangerous. Hmm. Thank you. 
you get a lot of interesting stuff from them inside their decks. Not quite a nice thing about them is that they're just so good at that. But I'm doing this a lot later in the game than I ever liked would be. But the danger for me is considerably low. Not sure I got it. So we survived. You can see these weird, scary foggy things. Avery, and now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out. But for your help, when if you manage to survive, <laughs> I'm done cowering behind your. Time you let me deal with the right people and my. The fog's been here. Before sure. the rat eaters came. Mm -hmm. It's time we do. No need to burden. Have the children. Absolutely. Geiger counters don't. And now the fog. You know as well. Sure, people have. What's the deal? They're religious folk. If you want details, you'd have. We used to have a peace with them and. Now that's enough. That pre. That it was Adam's god. And that the Adam. If it were up to me. Mm -hmm. What did he do? Alan pulled a gun on. We don't have police. Uh -huh. And after everything the preacher said, it was. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all. Uh -huh. You're here for Kasumi. Getting there will. No one knows the. What can you tell me about? Ask Longfellow. What's old Longfellow's? He's the best hunter. If someone needs to get people around here, but Longfellow. Thanks for the info. Sure. Please. And let me. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have. We're at the settlement. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. Hey there. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to... Speaking of which... Buying anything? Let's see what you have. Let's set you up. And you will see that there's another ammo type that's available in shops in, uh, in Far Harbor. Which is kind of interesting. And those are used by lever action rifles. And you can see that there's also a fair number of different uh, types of uh, different types of garb. I don't have anything to sell right now. But You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch. I should know. Sounds interesting. I thought you might. My family. It was Lump, the island. Ah! With the stranger's help. Let me guess. Ah. Now, on Speedy, sure. he was a. Anyway, of course. Those ghouls are good. You should get a better you never look a trapper in the eyes. Something else. Your mom's not around no more, Hi there. Smalls. I'm not afraid of you. You might be thinking I'm just a stupid girl, thinking you can take me. But everyone's got to sleep. Make things right <laughs> quick. Mm. Or else. Shit. Mm. Mm. Are you still here for some reason? Bertha? No one talks to my brother, all right? Okay. Well, interesting place. Hey. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha ha! You have anything in Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! Uh -huh. So, drink up! You stay here over long and... Uh -huh. What's so special? Can you feel it? Uh -huh. It's alive. Right. The madness wi- The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. But many just got lost in the fog. If you have any sense. Mm -hmm. If it's so dangerous. <laughs> this is our home. Besides, we all gotta die. I could use a drink. Plenty of so Okay, so he has glass, he has new cola fun, which is kind of interesting. 
And he has a soda that's also particularly the Far Harbor called Vin. Later on, we'll see more of the story of Vin. Interesting thing about Vin, it's not radioactive, it still gives you AP. Not a lot of it, though. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. There we go. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your... I'm done with last fella. Can you tell me a... Strange folk. Seems to me they, they've they done some good to... Wouldn't even be a... Some parents are worried about their run... Someone's headed for it. Trust me. I've done a whole... Clever with words, are you? I could get you to a cake. Still won't be eating on the real... Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. Okay, so he's not a companion at this point. So you can still travel with, uh... With Everyone! Him. Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house! Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Kind of interesting. A lot of local culture. Let's head out of town. Acadia is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a height. You might want to take this for the road. Tastes foul as sin, but it'll help. The hull took a battery, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't sure. They call me the... Town's luckier. You blowing smoke, mm -hmm. I don't suppose. Mm -hmm. And they won't be easy to... Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tanner. Just getting some more quests while we're on the way out. We need to move through the main Old Mountain Trail is where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Bradaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks. Mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to. Trappers are a lot like raiders. This is mine. Starts and they are immediately at your sleeping body. Is this what the work as a settlement area? You would have to be very careful to always have. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper Far Harbor woman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. 
get you all turned around. There's something in your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. Let's do a little bit of cooking here with the meat that I got. This and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. And here. It goes as, as a reminder that a lot of this stuff can be uh, pretty. Fat crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog, unless we steer clear. But you never know. When I was a young lad, no higher than you and me, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable, started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. And here we are. Another uh, nice little park area. We ain't alone here. They can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good. Let's see how we're doing. Terms of radiation. You don't see too many of them. For some reason, my health bar. Okay, it disappeared for a little while and now it's back. One more soul. Well, what have we here? Your barbs do not harm me. How about bullets? 
Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers. Uh -huh. Do not sully this. You. I. All right. I'm listening. Tell you. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath like sacred fog. Huh? A land Adam is. And you may join us. Okay. Excellent. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. Yeah, so ordinarily that's not something your companions are going to be thrilled about. But... I think we've already maxed out affinity with Nick and gotten his perk, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Hey there. And we've arrived. Acadia's already. They'll be waiting. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside. Just make sure if you. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. Right. You ever want to hunt? It's no, nay, never. No, nay. Okay, so. He gives us access to his. Uh, this cabin. We haven't come up it yet, but we're gonna quickly go and take care of that no more. before we head into Acadia. The reason for that is is that we're not gonna keep Nick around for too much longer, but we do want to take him into Acadia to meet uh, to meet the uh, the other synths. <coughs> But I would like to have a local settlement, settlement, and that's what Longfellow's cabin acts as. Captain? I'll repeat. I'll Brooke be straight with you. Too. It's never easy and to ask sin. anyone uh -huh. that I've got a responsibility to the... I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say... We get our... We had a bad... I sent Howard... I was hoping... If you're up to it, I wouldn't ask... Hmm. I think we want to leave this until later. You iron me, mainlander? Erna says the island's alive. My life is in the so that we can take the best in the north of us. We're going to go and get one of those cabin in the map. Maybe drop off some stuff there. There we go. And yeah, as you'll see, it is a uh, it is a place where you get a workbench, which is pretty sweet. Okay, now that we have it, we're gonna pop up to Acadia. this mountain above the fog I thought to myself now here is a metaphor worth taking in you've entered a place of clarity understanding peace while you're here in Acadia synth kind welcomes you as long as you welcome us well in that case I want a nuka cola some stim packs Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and, um, mm, a pony? <laughs> so you can see that he's kind of beat up. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. Uh -huh. Before you do, though, tell me. Mm -hmm. We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one Shinth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. 
And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. I know this joke. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk. Nick. If he is, it's news to me. I gotta think. Uh -huh. Is it really possible that you... You mean between the Institute, or are you buying this hole? There's only... We'll talk later. Nick. Uh, right? Now, about you... I asked you before if... Who or what she is... But it is. None of us take this... That someone... I want you to understand that. If... One more question. If... Mm -hmm. Tell me. Are you a synth? Mm, no. But if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick... Nothing really changes. I know it might seem mm -hmm. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... No memories before then? Isn't it funny how a memory can... I won't lie to you. There will... Right. But I can promise you that... Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure you're eager to... I'm part of a group that helps. Really? I don't un... Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, uh -huh. I know how frightening... Ideals aren't gonna protect... I know that's what you think. I just... No. Is there anything else? So... Every... Yes. I... Th Who are you? I came to this isle, but after my escape felt... One day, it finally occurred. Was there anything? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Hey. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping. You're right. It is a good... It's so good to... He's put so much of him... Sure. Sometimes I worry about... And that's not even mentioning me. Right, right. Uh, no. Dima looks like... Well, that's certainly an... He was just a prototype. Never... It really is remarkable. Uh -huh. Can you tell me about the fog? Can oh, those? D Dima insisted. Mm -hmm. If there's anything I can do to help out. Well, if you're determined, there's a boat along the coast of the island. The boat never finished. My understanding is. Sure thing, Baird. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a few quests here, too. And we can go down and say hello to. When we were talking down, we're talking way down. 
circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find... You... Look, my mom and dad... Uh-huh. Uh what do you mean? I'm not their daughter. Uh -huh. I thought if I just... I've been lying to you this whole... I know. It must... Yeah. So, I, I can't leave until... Uh -huh. Fine. It's... Thank you. Wait. Wait. You... What if I told you that there's a secret? <laughs> Sist... If you could just hold the joke... Mm -hmm. You saw all those computers that... Well, Faraday asked me to help do some... Uh -huh. And that's when I see it. What if Dima is so open and... Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and now I've tried doing some digging on my... I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase had... Mm -hmm. There's actually a... Uh -huh. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's term... Eavesdropping on the next meeting. Okay. Okay, so you're asked to do a little bit of local... What's the plan? What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what? It's hard to deny it, Nick. I spent a long time wondering if the... I always thought I was just more of their... There's got to be some kind of proof out. I'd appreciate... Of course, Nick. Thanks. I know we don't... <sighs> Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are. So again, we've maxed out uh, his uh, affinity with us, so it makes sense to swap partners, so we're going to pop down and leave him here at Longfellow's cabin and take Longfellow with us. Fond of fighting any kind of robot. That goes double for since. We heading out? Got everything you need? Well, I've got my gun. Time to get moving then? That's right. Let's get going. After you then. You sure you two are gonna be all right out there? Quit your worrying, metal man. We'll be fine. Okay, so. Yeah, we want to keep Nick out here where we can easily uh, get him back because there's a lot of fun pot stuff out here. But yeah, building affinity with Longfellow is probably the right thing. So yeah, I think that's what, where we're going to leave it. We've had, this has mainly been an advanced the plot video. We haven't really done any leveling up or serious combat. But that is okay. And we have a whole another large, uh, large map full of quests to do. And we'll be working our way through those. So, uh, that's it. Uh, and... If you choose to, you will see me in the next video. Bye-bye.